Hey everyone, Jonathan David here with another episode of Shear Talk, and today's topic is pro tips, something every professional groomer needs. Let's talk about some tips for drying and cutting your drying time. A great tip for cutting your drying time and making sure water doesn't spray all over the place is to put an absorbent bath mat underneath the dog when you're doing the force dryer. This way, all the water that sprays off the dog can hit the mat and absorb and not spray all over your walls. Another great tip is to take a towel and hold it behind the area that you're going to dry. So if you're holding the leg and you use the force dryer like this, you can spray all the water into the towel and it doesn't go all over your table and all over your walls. Another great tip for reducing drying time is to pre-clip the dog before they go in the bath. If you have a really hairy dog, and maybe they're not matted and they don't necessarily need to be shaved down before, but they're getting a short haircut. Why waste the time bathing and drying hair that's gonna come off anyway? So take out your clipper or your scissors, rough cut, get all that hair off. Then you have less hair to wash and dry. It's gonna cut your drying time and cut your grooming time so that you can do more dogs in a day. Have you ever had one of those dogs that just struggles when you're blow drying them and they put their feet up and they try to stop you from using the blow dryer or cut their nails or do anything around their face? Take an Elizabethan collar normally used to go out this way to stop a dog from chewing themselves and flip it the other way. If it goes down this way, they can't put their feet up and they can't hit you with their paws when you're trying to do things around their ears, their eyes, or cut their nails. We've all had one of those dogs who hates the blow dryer, and we know how that is. They fight you, they throw their head around, they jump away. Here's a tip to help reduce stress when a dog is getting blow dried. You can get a product like Happy Hoodie. A Happy Hoodie is an elastic piece of material, kind of like a sweatband, that goes around a dog's head and it covers the ears. This muffles the sound of the dryer and this also muffles any wind from going in the ear. Now, if you don't have a Happy Hoodie on hand, don't fear, you can use a cotton ball. Take a piece of cotton, put it inside the dog's ear canal because most dogs that refuse blow dryers in the face, it's because the wind whipping past their ear is either too noisy or it's irritating to their ears. So try cotton balls or a happy hoodie. Now, if you don't have either of those on hand, take an old pair of socks, cut a tube and use that as just some way to muffle the sound. This helps the dogs reduce their stress and they'll fight you a lot less. Have you ever had hair that gets caught in a Dremel? What a nightmare. Here's a great tip to avoid that. You can try Dremeling when the hair is already wet so you can pull it back and there's less chance of the hair getting caught up in the Dremel. Or buy some stockings, either fishnet stockings or nylons that you can slip over the foot and put the nails through. And this way, all the hair is pushed back from the netting and the nails poke through for you to cut and Dremel with a clean surface and no hair to get in your way. One of the most common dirty issues we see is goopy eyes and eye corners in dogs. When all this crust builds up in the eye corner and the owners bring them in and we have to pull that off. Well, here's a pro tip so that you can do that safely without causing any irritation to the eye. First, take an eye wash. Any type of sterile eye wash that's safe for humans is safe for dogs. Saturate a cotton ball and completely soak the area with the solution. Once it's completely saturated, Use a flea comb or any comb that has a lot of fine teeth close together and gently comb that away from the skin. Some people have recommended using a toothbrush to scrub the area. Here's my feeling on this one. You have to be very careful because that crusty eye goop is already causing some inflammation on the skin. And then if you go over it with a brush and keep brushing over it, you may cause more irritation, causing it to become red and more visible and making it look worse than it needs to be. So the best way to get it off is to soak it with warm water or an eye solution like saline solution or any kind of sterile eye wash and then use a flea comb to gently pick it off when it's soft. How do you deal with oily hair, especially when an owner gets oil on the ears from ear medication or if the dog's been out and they're really grimy and they're just greasy? Well, another tip that you can use is by putting potato flour. Potato flour is actually a little bit finer than cornstarch, which is traditionally used to absorb oils. So if you put a little bit of potato flour onto a dog, even when they're wet, it doesn't clump up and it helps to absorb any moisture, oil, and it helps to remove tangles from those dirty, oily dogs. 
do not leave diluted shampoo in a bottle for longer than 12 hours. When you leave shampoo in a bottle for longer than 12 hours, bacteria starts to grow. Doesn't matter what product it is, what shampoo it is. Once you take sterile shampoo and you add water to it to dilute it, you have added bacteria to the bottle. It's good for about 12 hours. So if you're going to do mixing bottles for grooming, make sure you mix them fresh every morning. Don't do them the night before because anything that sits longer than 12 hours already has some harmful bacteria growth that can cause skin issues or irritation. And you don't wanna have those problems. You wanna have a nice, clean, sanitized salon. So 12 hours is the rule. Anything older than that, toss it out. Now we all try to avoid accidents, but we know they can happen. Sometimes when you're cutting around the mouth, the dog can lick the scissor and they can get a small hairline cut on the tongue and those are some of the hardest to get to. Here's a great tip to stop a dog's tongue from bleeding. All you have to do is keep some sugar packets on hand. Open up that sugar packet, pour it onto the area that's bleeding and the sugar coagulates and helps to restrict the blood vessels and reduce the bleeding. Within a few licks and a few minutes of calm soothing of the dog, that cut will stop bleeding and you can proceed with the grooming. Here's another tip that a lot of groomers overlook and this is in the sanitation department. Make sure that you clean your hoses regularly. This means your vacuum hoses and your blow dryer hoses. Take them off the dryer, take them off the vacuum, soak them in warm soapy water, make sure you flush them out. The reason why is because you're recirculating dirty air with hair particles, with dander, with all kinds of things, and they build up on the inside of the hose. A, you don't wanna be blowing dirty air onto a dog, and also in the vacuum, you're vacuuming up a lot of dirt and debris and skin and bacteria, so you wanna make sure that you keep that as clean as possible so your vacuum stays clean and you have a nice, healthy, safe environment for both you and the pets you groom. Here's one that a lot of groomers overlook, and this is a huge safety issue, and I want all groomers to listen to me and take this seriously. You need to make sure that you check behind your outlets for hair buildup. Whether you're in a salon or a mobile unit, look behind your outlets. Take the plate off and look because hair builds up behind those outlets, and those outlets get so hot, hair and electricity creates fires, and fires we all know what happens. We don't want that to happen to your salon or your mobile. So please, on a regular basis, open up those outlets, check for hair, and keep them cleaned out. Now we all know how humidity can really give you a bad hair day. Same goes for dogs. So in those salons where you have a lot of humidity building up from bathing and blow drying and it gets hot and steamy inside, Get yourself a dehumidifier. An extra dehumidifier or two in your salon can reduce the humidity enough to make sure that the dogs dry quickly and that you don't have any issues with mildew or mold building up around the crevices of your salon. Those are Pro Tips with Jonathan David. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time for Sheer Talk.